Hello, my name is Clay Howell, and I'm going to be showing off the features and gameplay of Bazooka Palooza. So, Bazooka Palooza uses the Simple Miner application, the Minecraft um, sort of sandbox that I created with some basic features, and then I add on to it bazookas, which players can use to um, fight each other in an arena and I'll show you that in a second. So as we started up here you saw for a brief second a loading bar that was the game loading in all the chunks um, as you kind of saw from before in Simple Miner it preloads the entire map and I will go ahead and click start to begin and as you can see here it looks very similar to Simple Miner there are going to be a few key differences I'm going to jump in the air real quick to explain those differences so first you'll see this entire map is just one island and I pre-generate the whole thing and if I get close to the edge it won't load those chunks over there and then delete the chunks behind me um, this entire map is supposed to be an arena on sort of an island this is an up to 40 Sorry, this is up to a four-player game, and um, what I decided to do was use sort of the key features that um, that Minecraft or Simple Miner uh, gave me. Uh, we have terrain that can be destroyed, and once dug, it shows the layers of um, of blocks beneath it. So, as you can see here, the top layer of any generated um, in Simple Miner and in Bazooka Palooza are all grass and then three to four tiles beneath that is dirt and after that is stone 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 oops all the way <laughs> all the way down into the bottom oops and um, you will see at the very bottom is water gosh darn it I keep blowing myself around sorry about that um, at the very bottom of this whole thing is water um, with a little bit of sand in between actually if the player falls into water, they die. So the point of the game in a sort of four-player match is to uh, shoot other players off. So you have your bazooka. It has six bullets, as you can see in the bottom right, that slowly generate over time. And uh, whenever it hits the ground, it makes an explosion, shakes the screen, plays an explosion sound. A little bit more violent the closer you are to the explosion. And if you're within that explosion radius, as we saw before when I was jumping in the air, it sort of fires you in a direction. And you can kind of understand now this is an island sort of arena where players try to shoot each other off into the uh, border water. As people fight each other um, up top, up here, sort of in the center part, they'll slowly be destroying the environment, making more holes in the ground, and making the terrain more dangerous. Um, it's really fun and exciting uh, as you play because the whole landscape changes and you have players shooting each other out of the sky, making them fly all over the place. The gameplay itself, you, the players don't have any health. They die only from being knocked back, which means it's a lot of fun because players are in the air, getting knocked around. Um, They're also able to use that to their own advantage by shooting themselves into the air and sort of fighting um, the player, I used to have it where the players had infinite ammunition and they could just fire as much as they wanted, um, but that got extremely hectic and confusing really fast, and I felt it would be better to limit the amount of bullets a player has. Um, but they, I mean, they have infinite bullets technically because they slowly regenerate back, but I limit how much they can have at one time to like burst shoot it, which made players uh, not expend all their bullets constantly, but kind of wait until I saw a player another player and then fire like a huge barrage of uh, bazooka bullets which was always fun to see a ton of um, bazooka explosions and just chaos going on in the map. If the player pulls uh, the left trigger they will sort of have this like um, zoom this dolly camera and they will start running really fast which was um, sort of a fun little feature so that way players could move and run really quickly but also walk slowly if they needed to but this sort of like zoom out effect kind of had this feeling of they could see more around them and they would start going really fast so I was kind of having this fast paced um, bazooka explosion action game going on at the top you saw the game itself has a five minute timer in total and at the end of five minutes 
if uh, whatever player has died the least number of times is declared the winner. Um, so I'm actually going to pop out of here early and go back to this main screen where you see the map regenerating itself again. Um, and then if I have another uh, controller plugged in and click A, the map, the sorry, the screen will automatically divide up to the number of players that are connected. So you can have up to four players and it will divide the screen into four quadrants. I will only have two here just as for example six. Um, the players can choose their color and also change the sensitivity which is um, how sensitive the stick is when the player moves around and aims. And when we start it up you'll see now that there are two players. One that's blue and one that is red. Um, now on both the player's screen you can see that there is a crown above um, both players heads. That's because if two players have the same if the player the player with the lo least number of deaths is sort of the winner currently or the current king um, the current leader and if there are more than one player with the fewest number of deaths then they will all have a crown. Um, as you can see here at the start of the game all players will have zero deaths and therefore all players will have a crown and then if we go along here let's see I'm gonna choose the red player I'm going to fire a couple of bazooka shots oops, at the um, at the opposing player, and I'm going to try to knock them off or whatever. Um, and you can see that if I hit them a couple of times, they just go flying. It's completely mass mayhem, and so he fell off. Um, so now he quickly respawns back into the game. He has one death, and now the red player is in the lead with the fewest number of deaths. So if the red player looks at the blue player, they no longer see a crown above their head. But if the blue player looks at the red player, they will see the crown above their head. And this crown is um, can be seen through any part of the uh, environment, so the person who's in the lead cannot hide. Um, they will be found and they will be seeked out by other players. And as the, everyone sort of fights to be king of the uh, Bazooka Palooza Island, I guess you could call it. That is about it. That is all the features um, of Bazooka Palooza. I had a great time making this. Of course, again, it was uh, made over the course of just two months. Um, the whole uh, Simple Miner project and uh, Bazooka Palooza. It was a great experience, and I learned a lot about like memory management and um, and uh, the primitive lighting sort of algorithm that I had. As you can see, I'll just quickly re-demonstrate that again where the farther down you are underground, um, the more, uh, the darker it gets. As a player fires, I have like uh, sprites that are trailing off from the bazooka that are billboarded um, and sort of all the features of the player there. I also had, sorry, uh, line tracing and collision that I learned about and um, just sort of uh, working on a large-scale project all by myself. Um, it it brought a lot of things together, and it was useful to uh, use this sort of Minecraft uh, application as a template for learning. So thank you for watching, and uh, I hope this made Bazooka Palooza make a lot of sense.